All right, so if you made it this far, that means you saw Mark pull the transmission out of the black Mustang. Now, I've done a few of these uh, in the past and more recently, actually, because this one's for my own personal car. T5s are pretty strong, especially the ones that came out of the Fox Body Mustang. And so they're good for drift cars. You can most, you can bolt them up to most engines and most people make adapter plates or bell housings to fit them to stuff. They also came in lots of Chevys and such, but uh, this one doesn't have reverse. Uh, and so I know that when you're putting it together, reverse is something you can easily screw up and be based off the silicone on this one. Uh, it's pretty clear that maybe that's what happened. So I'm going to disassemble this one and uh, inspect it, look for anything broken. Uh, I may change out anything that needs to be fixed along the way, but uh, hopefully we can just fix reverse and put it back together. Uh, and so I'm gonna do that right now, thanks. doesn't know what a synchro looks like. That's one. And this thing looks brand new. Like, not even a little worn. That's interesting. this is a V8 trans, I think it's a four cylinder trans, and I can show you because, see this cap right here? This is like, see how it's got a curved edge? It looks like a piece of stamped steel. Uh, I'm pretty sure the world class ones, that was a machined piece. And then the other thing is, in between these gears here, there's usually like a, a retainer to prevent the bearing race from walking out. And that, I've never seen one that doesn't have it, but I've also never worked on a four cylinder one. Um, looking at the trans condition, everything looks pretty good. I don't know why reverse wasn't working. Um, Cause it all looks like it's there. And so that's interesting, but um, so just don't see any reason why it wouldn't work, but also some stuff had come apart on the front of it during uh, disassembly, but sometimes it's just hard to know if that was you during it or not. But anyway, I'm gonna talk to Brad and Mark uh, if they want me to proceed or if we even wanna waste our time on here. The, f the four cylinder ones aren't nearly as strong, they break, and so it might not even be worth our time to put it in. Uh, I do have a couple of them. Here's one that I showed you earlier, but it has like, see how that's a machined sharp edge? This is a world class. And so, um, if I can put it together and it works and whatever, but and it breaks, who cares? But uh, it is a little weird. Uh, it just means someone most likely broke the stock one and then added a four cylinder one later just because they're inexpensive and in the junkyard. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll give you some updates on what we decide. Okay, so further looking at it, uh, I figured it out. Pretty simple. Uh, I don't, I'll have to do some research, but what it is is, so this little arm right here, it moves that down there, hard to point, which puts it in reverse so that um, it disengages fifth, this one, and then engages reverse all in the same stroke. Well, the problem is there's a reverse sensor. I'll put a light on it, hold on. Reverse sensor right here, 
you see how it's like impeding it so when it goes to move it can't but if you take this and thread it out and it's not in the way suddenly it can go into reverse it's a little stiff because everything's coming apart but so I don't know what happened here because mine on my other transmission threads all the way in and uh, it doesn't impede it. So either the case is different and they put a V8 one in it, but these two pieces side by side are the same. And so I don't know if there's a difference in this case, but I can space that out or just plug it with something because we don't care if we have a reverse slide or not. Or I don't know, I'll have to talk to Brad or Mark, but super simple uh, fix. It's also super weird. What's going on here? There's all kinds of weird stuff going on. Or maybe it's because this is loose. Oh, that's probably why. That is such an easy fix. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is way easier fix than I thought it was. Um, this shift rod here, this lever, it, it, it's all your, it's uh, your reverse and fifth. So anytime this moves, you're either engaging fifth gear here or reverse, which is down there uh, to the left, those two gears. And so this lever does it all using these two uh, bolts or I guess um, little bearing things, um, but it wouldn't move and I couldn't figure out why. Well, this here is the like fulcrum point for the shifter and it was backed out like here and I didn't notice that. And so I'm looking down and seeing that the lever can't move because that is in the way, right there. And I'm like, oh, that's weird, man. It, I compared it to this one, which is the same and good. And it works in mine. And then, so I'm like, oh, that's way weird. I guess I'll just back it out and space it or something. But then I saw this, which was completely loose. So <laughs> this whole time we could have just, had we seen that, we could have tightened it up. Maybe that's where all this oil is coming from. Could have tightened it up and uh, it would have been on our way but uh looking at the rest of the transmission all the synchros look like they were replaced so it's almost as if someone had done the work and then uh just put it together poorly or missed that or maybe they didn't tighten that down got 100 miles down the road and then uh it quit going into reverse and then they sold it to us so that's a plus uh i'm 90 percent sure it's not a world class t5 which makes it kind of weak uh, just because of the front bearing support not being billet like on this one and uh, It's missing like the I guess fifth gear bearing retainer that's usually on them. This one doesn't have anything So I've never seen one without it, which is super weird So I don't know what's going on. It's probably a four-cylinder transmission, but I don't think we care I think we'll clean it up and we'll put it together um, and uh, put some angle on the car and then get them drifting so yeah i'm uh probably talk to them and then decide on what to do and put it together you'll probably see it in a future video or this video depending on if we get it done or not all right so i was geared up to put this transmission back together i spoke with brad and mark and they agreed they're like it's not a v8 transmission uh and you like we've since found the reverse problem super easy Kind of annoying because we could have fixed it in the car had I like looked at it at all, but not a big deal. So I uh, I go and get all geared up. I get some gloves. I start cleaning it up. I'm like I'm just gonna throw it back together. We'll put it in the car and it'll last as long as it lasts. And as I'm cleaning it up, I'm like, man, this thing is like super oily on the outside. And so I can look in and I'm like, oh, it's cracked. So if you look here, I don't know if the camera's not focusing in, but. Yeah, it's cracked there, it's cracked down here, and so all through this junk, you can see it's cracked here, and so it's just pouring out. That explains why all of this looks like fresh ATF. Uh, kind of a bummer because now we have to find a trans, but also I don't have to put this together, which is kind of nice. And so um, I think I'm done for the night. But sorry, it's like, I don't know. At least we found the cause, and now we can uh, source another trans, but um, I mean, I've got two. One is a short ratio. It's in that RX-7. And then this one is, this would have come out of a Fox body. And so we could put that one in there, but it's for the RX-7. And so I, uh, yeah, probably not gonna, I don't know. We'll see if we find another one. Who knows?
Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll stick another four cylinder one in it. We'll see. What's up everybody? I am uh... <laughs> Brain, uh, Brad, delete this one, hold on.